Greetings, dear friends. Have you ever considered the impact of your daily commute to work? Today, we delve into a topic that is so familiar, yet often overlooked, walking to work. Yes, this simple daily activity has profound effects on our physical, mental, and emotional state. Imagine the daily grind, the long lines of traffic, the crowded commute, even conducting meetings from the car. All this, even before reaching the office, brings with it a wave of anxiety and stress. Six months ago, I started a new job, a mere 25 minutes walk from home. So I embraced a new mode of commuting, walking. With each step, I found myself stepping into a new day and stepping out of work's hustle and bustle. This simple form of transportation has had profound effects on my physical, mental, and emotional health. Walking not only saves on commute time and costs, but also reduces sedentary time by at least an hour, thereby increasing physical activity and bringing a host of benefits. Prolonged sitting is a pervasive issue in modern life, especially for those of us who work on computers all day. Numerous scientific studies have shown that prolonged sitting poses severe health risks equivalent to chronic suicide. It increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases, metabolic diseases like diabetes, and cancers like breast and colon cancer. Hence, we should take feasible measures to reduce sitting time. Options include walking or cycling to work, doing simple exercises during work breaks, or standing and moving around at regular intervals. Many famous personalities are avid walkers. For example, former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill was a keen walker, often using his walks to think, adjust his mood, and even make significant decisions. American author Henry David Thoreau, a nature lover and avid walker, detailed his experiences walking around Walden Pond in his famous work, expressing his pursuit of a simple life and inner peace. Walking was not only a form of exercise for him, but also a spiritual cleanse. Steve Jobs, the founder and former CEO of Apple, often held walking meetings. He believed walking stimulated creativity and inspiration. He once said, when you walk, your mind clears up, your thoughts become active. It's a good time to make creative decisions. There's also the legendary George Lucas, who often chose to walk while conceptualizing Star Wars. He said, walking is the best way for me to sort out my thoughts and solve problems. Who would have thought that the inspiration for such cosmic legends also came from walking? Walking is also a celebrity secret to staying in shape. Many stars are often spotted walking the streets. Walking not only burns calories, but also tones the body, helping you become slimmer and healthier. Walking not only exercises the body, but also purifies the soul. Walking to and from work has made me more conscious of my health. Long hours sitting in a car can lead to stiffness, while walking is a simple and effective form of exercise that keeps me active. Walking to work has also brought me closer to nature. Breathing in fresh air, appreciating the surrounding scenery, and feeling close to nature has a calming effect helping to alleviate work-related stress and anxiety. In summary, walking to work is more than just a means of transportation. It has physical benefits, such as reducing sedentary time and improving health. It has mental benefits, giving you time to think and solve problems. It has emotional benefits, bringing you closer to nature and reducing stress. It can even inspire creativity and innovation so, if you can, why not give walking to work a try? You may find that it's not just an act, but an attitude, a joy of life. That's all for today's sharing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time.